Catherine here from greenpickies.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the most delicious raw cheese sauce in the whole world and seven ways you can use this and once you taste this you won't want to go back to dairy I promise you. So let's go and see the recipe. So here are the ingredients that you will need for the raw cheese sauce. One cup of cashews, half a cup of water, one pepper, which can either be red, orange or yellow, but not green because this will determine the colour of your sauce and also green peppers are not fully ripe. Two tablespoons of lemon juice or the juice from two small lemons half a cup of nutritional yeast and this is what gives it the cheesy flavour but this is optional if you don't want to use nutritional yeast two slices of onion either red or brown one teaspoon of sea salt one teaspoon of garlic powder or one clove of garlic and two teaspoons of onion powder Now we're going to add all of the ingredients into a blender jug. You can use any type of blender you want. I'm using a Blendtec at the moment. This is a twister jar. It's a very small jar and very powerful so that's why I like to use this one because it saves on washing up and it's easier to get the sauce out of there rather than digging your hand right to the bottom of a very large blender. But any blender should work for this. If you need to add a little bit more water to get your blender going a little bit more just add one tablespoon of water at a time because you don't want to make your sauce too runny. If you do make your sauce too runny by accident you can just add a few more cashews in when it's running and that will thicken it back up again. So put in your cashews, preferably they will be soaked prior to going in because it makes it easy to digest and makes them healthy. Your water. This also adds quite a lot of liquid into the jug, which is why we don't need to add too much liquid because the pepper will create some. There's also quite a lot of liquid in the lemon juice. And there's some liquid in the onion as well. So it's quite a water rich dish. And then we've got the powders, the nutritional yeast and the salt, garlic powder and onion powder. I also find that the onion powder gives it a cheesy kind of taste as well. So that's everything in the blender. Now we're just going to blend it up, starting slowly and then increasing the power. I'm going to blend for one minute or until it is smooth. mention is if you like it spicy and you want to make like a taco spicy sauce you can add one teaspoon of smoked paprika into this and that will change it and also it will add a bit more red color if you want it more red you need to add red peppers if you like it this kind of color more of a yellowy add more yellow or orange peppers I just like to use a silicon spatula to pour out the sauce into a bowl and there's actually seven things you can do with this cheese sauce you can use it as a dip and just dip in sliced vegetables like cucumbers and peppers which is absolutely delicious you can use this as a sauce for salad and just pour it all over your salad and mix it into everything it will make everything taste really cheesy and creamy you can use it as a raw pasta sauce where you can spiralize some courgette, zucchini, some carrots or cucumber and pour this sauce on and it's absolutely delicious. This is what I have most nights of the week for my dinner. 
Number four, you can coat kale chips or kale crisps with these. You just get some kale, massage it in, and then put it in the dehydrator or the oven, and check out my other recipe for my pasta and my kale chips, and I'll show you how I do that. Number five, you can use it as a pizza sauce. It's a cheesy pizza sauce for a raw pizza, healthy raw pizza. Number six, you can use it as a cheesy sauce for inside a healthy raw burger. Number seven, you can you actually use this as a pizza base. So you can spiralize some courgettes, zucchinis, mix it around and then make a base for the pizza. And I'm gonna show you that in another recipe as well. So check that out. So here it is, the absolutely deliciousness of this sauce. Once you taste this, you will never want to eat anything else again, I promise you. I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe, so please like it if you liked it, and subscribe to Green Thickies for more great recipes like this. And please leave a comment below letting me know if you've ever tried making a raw vegan version of cheese and what your results were and if, you, if it encourages you not to go back to dairy again, I would love to know. Leave a comment below and I would love for you to stay tuned to Green Pickies because next video I'm going to be showing you how to make cheesy kale chips using this exact recipe. So stay tuned and have a great day. Take care. Bye.